Hi, my name is Sazil and in this video I will instruct on how you can render your Blender animation on cloud using Google Collab which is totally free. Additionally, I will teach you how you could render insanely faster with parallel processing or rendering in Collab. We start by setting up the Blender project for proper render. If you have not, it's best to bake all the physics and simulations first. In the render settings, make sure you are happy with the resolution, start and frames, sample number and tile size, which is best at 128 by 128. But here's the catch. Be sure you set the export file as PNG. Select GPU as rendering device and you will need to pack the external data to your blend file. For that, click on the file under external data, click on pack all in dot blend file. You then need to save the blend file. After that, you will need to upload both the blend file along with the cache folder if it exists to your Google Drive. I uploaded the entire project X folder to my Google Drive. Now in the description of this video, click the first link heading to Google Collab that contains script for rendering Blender animation. I credit this script to a Reddit post. That's where I found it. Link is in the description. Thank you. Make your own copy of this notebook file to your drive like so. Each cell needs to be executed sequentially. Basically, these commands are installing the Blender 2.80 to our virtual machine. Next, you need to connect your Google Drive to the virtual machine so that you can run your blend file and save each rendered PNG frame to your drive safely before anything goes sideways during the process. You need to set the paths to your blend file and your desired destination for render frames. I set them as follows. This first cell will render a single frame. For example, setting it to 50 will render only frame 50 of the animation. The other cell is to render multiple frames, one after the other. Make sure to set the paths right. The first number parameter is the start frame and the other number is the end, end frame to be rendered. The notebook or session will render all the frames including both the extremes. Now you're ready for the render. All you need to do is execute the cell and the output can be viewed in your Google Drive. Notice the rendering is slow and can take a long time. What if you could run multiple notebooks or sessions in parallel that is rendering different frames of animation such that you could finish the total render of the animation much much faster? Well, you could do that. This first session will render from frame 1 to 10. To open the next session, you need to make a copy of this notebook. Then simply replace the frame number. I would like this new fr session to render from frame 11 to 20. And then just like before, execute the notebook sequentially from the top. To run more sessions, we need to do the same. Make copies, modify the frame number and finally execute them. 
after the fifth session you will run out of gpu accelerated sessions so all you need to do is change the runtime setting change the gpu to maybe tpu or none that is only cpu and the rest is the same you get 5 GPU, 5 TPU, and 5 CPU sessions, a total of 15 sessions. What if 15 sessions is not enough for you? Well, all you need is another Google account. You need to run the same script using the other Google account like this. You perform the same action to render in this session, but there is a slight twist. While you connect your Google Drive, you connect the Google account containing the blend file. This will allow the notebook or session to access the blend file and the output destination. Note that all the rendered frames will collect at the same location. Now this is how you make your render 15 or 30 or 45 times faster depending on your needs. If you have any question let me know below in the comment section. If you like this video give a thumbs up, uh, subscribe if you want more of these videos and thank you for watching.